I just think that's so good. Well, and can, can I tell you sing. something else about them? Okay. No, they can sing. They can sing. <laughs> Brother Bridgman is also uh, with me and with the many on the. He's on the board of directors for the Gospel Music Hall of Fame and Museum and Association. Yes. Advisory board. That's right. that's uh -huh. a good right. thing too. Board. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you doing up there for them? What? Are you doing? Well, I was um, doing the quartet convention. They had their uh, elections last year, and um, I was uh, fortunate to be elected to the advisory board, mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, what we do is advise. The, of course, the, the regular board is composed of you know leaders in in the industry. Danny Jones, executive director. Arthur Rice is their president, mm -hmm. and um, it is the the SGMA is charged with with maintaining that wonderful Hall of Fame and museum that's at Dollywood, there in Pigeon Forge, and uh, it's it based upon the membership. So we're we're into. To, uh, getting people to join the Hall of Fame. If you love Southern Gospel music, you want to preserve uh, it for the future generations. I'm right. mm -hmm. just thinking, many of us watching tonight had personal knowledge of James Blackwood. Yes. And and J.D. Sumner. Right here in town. And Hovey Lister. Yeah, they knew them personally the from that first level, mm -hmm. but now they've passed. And the generation, when they passed, the generation coming up will just yes. have heard about them. Yes. So we need a place where they can go and learn. Yes. With that yes. living link to the past. Yes. That's so right. that's what the Hall of Fame well, that's is. That's good language. And a living Wendy, link. A living and link. And Wendy Bagwell right here. In oh, Wendy Bagwell here. And Lou Jan, my wife, Lou Jan. She's a member. Today is Eva May Lefevre's birthday. And she's a member. And the Lefevers, you know, they were, uh, the Lefevers were one of the, in, in this, can I tell you about this book? Mm -hmm. oh, when we, uh, when the, uh, when we got together and formed the SGMA, that's the Southern Gospel Music Association, and one of our primary goals was to build a Hall of Fame to preserve our heritage, okay. and so when we decided to, and when we began to raise the money to build it, and we were trying, to, where can we put this thing? We had several cities that asked for it, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee asked for us to come there, and Knoxville wanted us to be there, Nashville invited us to be part of the, of their heritage there, but uh, uh, what we settled on, Dollywood, the Hurston brothers owned Dollywood, and they came to the board and said, we want Dollywood to be a family park, mm -hmm. and would you consider putting the Hall of Fame in Dollywood? Mm -hmm. That's how we got there, and it's been a blessing. Yes. Because Amen. they built the building and they maintained the outside and the insurance and all that. But we have to take care of the inside, which oh, yes. it cost us right. almost $2 million just to build what's in there. Right. And so in order to uh, help preserve that and keep it going, we have built a, uh, a Hall of Fame book. You see, yes. and you can see. So it's this just, is all the people that are in the Hall of Fame. It's just like walking through the Hall it, of Fame. And it tells yeah. about each person. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, it does. It yeah. doesn't say everything because we don't have that much space in no, the book. No, I know, but it gives you a little... And things that people... Know. You know, you ever wonder when you hear the Saints out of New Orleans play and you hear them playing when the Saints go marching in, that's a gospel song. Yes, it is. <laughs> and the guy that wrote that, he's in this book. Right. And you can right. find out who wrote that. Isn't that neat? That's, that's right. true. And another right. song, Leaning on the Everlasting Arm. Everybody will be happy over there when we all get to heaven. I'll fly away. <laughs> and on and on and on and on and on. On and on and on, and these people who made the language—it's the language and the songs that the whole world sings. Yes, yes sir. That's right. That's sure. right. Sure. And we're just so it's not just us. Mm -hmm. We want people to know that they can go there and go through the Hall of Fame and see all of that. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Yes, so it this. If they don't get to go right away, yeah. they can get this book and just walk through the Hall of Fame by turning That's the pages. Right. That's right. You know, again, every Southern Gospel music uh, fan and supporter needs needs to get on uh, a membership with the SGMA. Yes. They can do so by going to our website, yes. www.sgma.org. Uh -huh. And, of course, uh, they can call the office there. But that book, uh, Brother Jerry, I think it's going to be available at the uh, Hall of Fame office there in the bookstore. Yes, store. it is. Absolutely. And um, we hope to uh, get a wider distribution, maybe getting some of the artists to help put it out as well. Yes. And so we just want every fan to get, to get this book. Because if you love Southern Gospel, this is, uh, mm -hmm. this is like I say, it's just a walk through, through the Hall of Fame Museum. Mm -hmm. Brother Jerry is, is our chaplain. Yes, sir. And uh, we, we appreciate all that. And he's I'm done. president emeritus of the Hall of Fame. Exactly uh, you know, right. You know what that means? That means I'm I'm no longer president, but I'm still working. Does it mean you're old? <laughs> Does it mean you're old? Well, it might mean that too. That might mean that too. But this is, and you know, if you just like a lot of people, you just like history, or you want musical history. This has been a vital part of the musical genre, and you can uh, en you'll enjoy it, even though you may not be quote 
a gospel singing fan, you just may enjoy the history of it. You may enjoy knowing about it. And it's a wonderful thing if you never get to go. Say, you can just walk through and you can see all the people that are there. And you know, there's some new things. Yeah, that's really good. I get so excited about it. find out more information, uh, if you're on Facebook, go to our Facebook page, Southern Gospel Music Association Facebook page, and like us there. And we'll keep you updated with things that's happening things in the world of Southern Gospel on. Music. Right. Uh, I'm, one of, I'm one of the administrators on the on the Facebook page. So what I try to do is post like uh, like Eva May's birthday was today. That you'll find that on there. You know, we, we had her 90th birthday party here at the station. I, I, I remember I hearing remember about that. that. Right. Yes. And then Eddie Wallace just left us this yes. week. He's in the Hall of Fame with the Sunshine Boys. Uh -huh. We have that on there. And and then anything that's you know relevant to Southern Gospel or about the Hall of Fame, yes. we have a a 5K race. All and it's, it's a, a run or a walk. It's according to how you want to do it. But it's yeah. a 5K coming up during the quartet convention on September the 27th. Uh -huh. And you can go online to register for that as well. And all that proceeds will go to the Hall of Fame. It's a, it's a, it's a fundraiser for the Hall of Fame. And uh, profits from your book goes to the every Hall of dime, Fame. Every dime, every bit of the profit, every dime. I don't get anything, he doesn't get anything, nobody gets anything. It all goes to the yes. Southern Gospel Music Hall of Fame right. Association. Right. You know what I want them to do? Um, we want you to get a copy of that book and, and just, uh, just be a part. And join right. as membership, join the membership, SGMA, and be a part of Southern Gospel Music History Preservation for our future generations. That's right. Well, Wonderful. thank you all. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. Been a